Celebrate every day. Hey Internet, today is St. Urho's Day, and this holiday was started when a man named Richard Madsen created the legend of St. Urho when his co-worker asked him why the Finnish people don't have a saint like St. Patrick, so he made up his own saint. And in this saint, scared frogs away from grape crops with his loud voice. Now this legend was later changed to grasshoppers, and actually this holiday started on May 24th, but it was switched to today, the day before St. Patrick's Day. Hmm. But to celebrate, I have on the traditional colors that you're supposed to wear to the feast. I've got the purple to represent the grapes, and then you got the green for the grasshoppers or the frogs. And I've also decided I'm going to have my own little grape-infused feast. So let's dig in. First, I'm going to try these stuffed grape leaves. Everyone else is eating the grapes. I'm going to munch on some leaves. Let's get this can opened up. Oh, that doesn't look that appealing. Oh. <laughs> Why does it smell like meat? Oh, it's slimy too. Look at that. It definitely smells like meat. We gotta celebrate. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but the oil or whatever's on it. Oh, you should definitely stick to eating just the grapes. Oh, no. And to end things on a better note, I'm going to try out these chocolate-covered wine grapes. Now, hopefully these don't smell or taste like meat. open. Mmm. Oh, that's a big wine grape. Mmm. It's pretty good. It is wine grapes infused with wine and coated with dark chocolate. That's not too shabby. It's definitely better than grape leaves that smell like meat. I can tell you that much. Leave a comment below and let me know how you plan on celebrating St. Urho's Day.